Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel, I'm so glad you're here. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to focus in on mass bulk importing of your inventory item pictures. And there's several different ways to do this. Today we're going to focus on importing by UPC. And so we're gonna walk right through that. Um, I actually have a folder here of pictures and we are going to get them all imported all at once into the point of sale. Before we do it, I am going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group. Join up there. There are over a thousand members who are also using QuickBooks point of sale in their stores. You can ask any question you have. We have a great community that pitches in and shows their viewpoint or answers questions, as well as myself. Of course, I will be there as well, and you could even request videos for this channel if you like, if there's something specific you have in mind. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe, because then you can get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point-of-sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, let's do this, folks. Let's do it. So I'm pulling over my folder here. I got five products, but you could have like hundreds or thousands of products all in the same folder. And then you could import them all at once. It just takes a little bit of pre-work. So uh, I've got five different products and I have correlated their UPC codes as the picture name. Very important. So you notice that there. I'm just going to go through those products real quick. So you can take a look. I've got my... 1997 Star Wars Mountain Dew. Someday I'll open it and drink it and it'll be really gross. But here it is, Star Wars Mountain Dew. Now you can see the UPC code right here is what I also have the same as the picture name right there. And so we got uh, that Star Wars Mountain Dew. We have a we have one called Slim Such and Such a Jacket, and I'm going to point out that only one of these actually has this UPC. So if you had different sizes, what's it going to be the last one? Oh, where'd it go? Well, I'll be. One of these has to have that UPC in it. Uh, let me head back here. I'm gonna just gonna scroll down. It should be There I don't know why that one wasn't showing up there, but I got the UPC right here And that matches my picture name of course and then we also have a can of duster Which has this UPC and you can see that's the same as the name on the picture I could say that two more times but the other ones that we have are the special mug which is right here and then we have a quick books hat which is on my head and uh, that one's right there with that UPC okay so now I'm actually gonna go on the file menu to utilities and import and I'm gonna hit next you may have done inventory items and vendors and customers before but today we are gonna do item pictures now it's gonna ask you where what folder you want to import them from. I have already selected the folder that you just saw those pictures in, QBPOS pics. And now here are different options for importing. If you have uh, different variations or style sheets for uh, multi-style products, then you can go with number one here. Otherwise you can match them up just with the item name or the ALU or the QuickBooks point of sale item number but today we are going to do UPC because that's what we are doing. I don't know. That that works out for some people. Some people like to name their pictures. Maybe they have them in a spreadsheet from their vendor or something like that. And they have the UPC. So that would be great. And I'm going to tell it that I'm only importing default item pictures. You can actually import a default as well as a an alternate. So there's the ability to have two pictures in there. Uh, we'll probably explore that sometime later, but I am only going to uh, import the regular default pictures. And if there is an existing picture, I'm going to discard it and import the new one. 
That's how I like it. Our other options are keeping the existing picture or prompting me to let me decide. So whichever choice fits you, I'm going to hit next. All right, it found five pictures in that folder, which actually match to UPCs. If you have any UPCs or numbers or, or picture names in that folder that don't match a UPC on the item list, then it will give you a list down below here and tell you which ones don't match. So I'm going to hit import. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five. Now I head to my item list and I can check out, if I just type in Mountain Dew, you know, there it is. There is the picture. Or if we want to see them all at once, um, I can actually go to make a sale. And if I scan the same barcodes uh, as I had there, let's see. Oh, apparently that one has no quantities or no price. I'm going to say it's five bucks. So there's my jacket. That may happen on a couple of these. There is the duster, and you're seeing the pictures come up right now. There's the QuickBooks hat. Uh, let's see. There is the special mug, and uh, I think then we got the Mountain Dew. So there you go. As you ring them up, you can see them. As you click on them, you can see them and identify them uh, on a lower resolution. My screen is 4K here, so if you have a lower resolution screen, these pictures are going to come up quite a bit bigger actually so it looks really tiny on my screen um, but yeah there you have it checking people out you can look at every single uh, item photo and you can go ahead and import those really quickly through the mass import that we just did using UPC my name is Peter with Black Rock Business thanks for coming along in this little journey in importing pictures you have yourself an excellent day all right bye bye